Hello everybody, Cooper here and welcome to episode 2 of the Steve Smith career mode here on Cricket 24. This is the current state of affairs of our first class match up against Nottinghamshire. We are in the lead by 84 runs, we're on the final day, it's 2 o'clock. This one's likely going to be a draw, so we're going to just going to bat for some form. If we can go back and have a look, we're currently 52 not out. Um, if you haven't watched the first episode, if you've watched episode one and you're here again, thank you for coming back. If this is your first episode, welcome. Enjoy. Have a seat. Grab a cup of coffee or tea, some popcorn, whatever you want. Uh, this is going to be some good fun, hopefully, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, 4 for 204, currently we're only ahead by 84 as I said. Um, this pitch has br pretty much been a batting pitch. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright, I am recording this a bit later in the day than I did episode 1. Um, episode 1 is up and a few of you have enjoyed it. That was a very close ball. So... Let's just try not to get out. I'm just going to play a little bit more on the defensive side for these first couple of deliveries, unless we get an absolute pie that we can flick through the leg side. No run there. That is the plan. Play a bit more defensively uh, to James. He's going at about four runs and over, so I've changed the field already. We'll leave that alone. That's a wide. But yeah, we'll just get our eye in over these first couple of deliveries of this recording. I feel like I'm a little bit early at the moment just because of how slow the bowling is. I'm sort of bracing myself for something that's a little bit faster. It's sort of a traditional ring field with a deep square leg and a fine leg. Get the single, get off strike, get our first runs of this little session. There's a gap between mid off and cover and there's a gap between backward point and short third, but I'm trying to hit it through cover. So if he pitches it up, which he does, we can try and sneak two, which we do. Okay, that's easy. You just swivel onto the back foot, take the single, rotate the strike. Easy done. There we go, that's the shot we've been looking for. Finally a boundary. That gets us to 60 and we've, we've gotten through the 50s fairly comfortably. Soaked up a few dot balls and I like the way that we're going. Tuck that around the corner, should only be a single. I was just thinking, do they have any spin options? Because we're getting to the 60 over mark and this is normally around the time that they bring on some spin. They've brought on another medium, sort of fast medium pacer. So we'll have a look what their bowling options are in a minute. We'll let that go. Yeah, so okay, they got Patterson White who's already bowled the 10 overs. There we go. Just a little step off the back foot. That'll go for four. Smith's on to 66. I wouldn't mind looking at a replay for this shot because oh, he's not going to show it. I'll do it myself. Yeah, just a little flick down to, to third man. That'll be four. Very nice. Now, Patterson's going around the wicket. I'm assuming he's going short. That's in the gap. That might actually go for four. No, we're going to get two. We just got to keep building up the lead. We got to think about, can we get a result here? My immediate answer is no. Um, because it's, we've only got, how much time do we have in the day? We've got three and a half hours left in the day, if we're lucky. We're only ahead by... Not very much. I think we're only ahead by about 120, 130. So results probably out the window. So if we can get through with a draw, that's a nice shot. 
down the ground. It's my first real hit down the ground in this match, actually. But yeah, if we can get away with the draw, that will be an 100. Obviously, 100 would be nice. 129 we're in the lead by. That would be ideal. But yeah, I'm not... As selfish as it sounds, I'm not too invested in the team success for for this team. If it was New South Wales, I'd probably feel a little bit differently. But because it's not our... Uh, we're sort of a hired gun, essentially, before the Ashes start. We're more in it for ourselves just to get some experience. Obviously, we want to win our games, but we, um, if it was our own country and it was our own state, I would probably feel a little bit more invested in it than I do. There's a nice gap sort of just forward to the wicket. That's not the gap I'm talking about, but there is a gap there. And it's going to be three. No, it's not. It's going to be two. With one ball to over, 250 is up. But the gap I'm talking about is between short cover and deep mid-off. Now, if it was a regular cover, I would definitely go for it. But I feel nervous about the short cover. Yep. That's a better shot in the gap. That should be four. Luke Fletcher, he has been expensive in this match so far. In this innings, anyway. Two for 68 of 14 overs. I have no idea how he went in the first innings. That's a good shot. <laughs> if I don't say so myself. Uh, Smudge, he's he's doing good. Cut shot is open. Cover drive is open. Down the ground is open. We're going to tuck it behind square leg. Fine leg hasn't picked it up at all. He's just gotten to it now. We're actually going to get a third in. That is a short boundary, so I think because of the misfield, we were able to get there. I've just noticed we've lost a wicket, so that is not ideal. If we lose a couple more, we might need to uh, take hold of the strike a little bit more and not rely on our teammates so much if we want to get a result. Because I don't really want to lose. If you haven't guessed, I am quite competitive. That's a very... Big bouncer. It's gone for four, though. I felt the pressure rise a little bit. I was feeling pretty comfortable before I got into the 90s. Um, but I felt since we've got into the 90s, it's only been a couple of balls, but I can already feel a little bit more tense in my arms and my hands, um, which is not ideal because um, I do want this 100. But we're going to get through it. I don't care if it takes us... The rest of the match, I want the 100, and obviously a draw. Because I think a win's out of the window. I don't think we're going to win. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I've gone way too early on that pull shot. Lee, we need to have a look at this again. Uh, we'll hide that. We, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it actually wasn't too far away from the stumps. Come on. I'm not very good at this. So it's hit me on the back arm. But yeah, that other delivery, that short one that almost went onto the stumps, that would have been a sucky way to get out. Okay, we're facing Fletcher again. We'll take the single down to third man. That'll get us to 94. And another wicket's fallen. Okay, we are going to have to find a single here. That's a good ball. We're seven down now. Um, Ollie Robinson is in. Not the greatest of batsmen. They're giving us the single. Um, I'm going to see if we can get two. We're not going to be able to. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, we're nine down. Oh, no. Okay. It's smudge ball now. Oh, God. Imagine being stranded in the 90s. Oh, I feel very not good. Bowl it short so I can pull it for six. 
We're gonna get two. I'm going for the second. Go, 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 go! No! No! Oh, no! Oh, that's so sad. I get run out for 97. And I'm assuming we lose this. Wow, we've actually won. How the hell did we win that? We won by 70 runs. Trust in the bowlers more is probably what I should have done. Tom Allsop gets player of the match. I'm, I'm slightly devastated. I'm actually more than slightly devastated. I'm very devastated. We couldn't get the 100, but we still won, which is good. So that's first win of the season, albeit we did do it with a negative run rate. Um, Tom Allsop's leading the run scorers with 187 runs. Uh, how, are we, how are we going in uh, terms of runs scored? We are in and around the place, averaging 53 from our two innings, we're not doing too bad. Solid strike rate, best of the top players in the competition at the moment. I haven't actually looked at the teams that we're currently a part of. Sussex, the Sydney Sixers, New South Wales and Australia. All right, we are now playing Somerset um, in a home fixture. So I will be back um, for the toss. All righty, we're actually, our home ground I checked in this particular version of Sussex that I've downloaded is the SCG for some reason. Um, I've changed that because I've changed it to Edge Baston. I just picked a random one. I didn't want to play at Lords because I know Middlesex play at Lords. Um, so I just picked Edge Baston. I just picked one at random. Um, so I hope everybody's okay with that. I'm just going to move my mouse off the screen. Uh, Somerset have called heads. Somerset have won the toss. It's a soft, dry pitch. I wouldn't be surprised if they're bold. They are going to bowl. Oh, boy. Hopefully our guys... Our top four can do okay with the bat. That would be ideal. Did they just call us Russia? Am I hearing that correctly? No run off the first ball. Let's uh, get into where we uh, end up in the middle order. Three for one, four, three. I can live with that. Pajar is out as well as our openers. Solid average. Let's uh, get 100 number 49. Match the number on the back of our shirt. Ooh, there's a bit of swing. All right, we've faced one over and we're already going off for lunch. I've concluded Geez, 41 overs in the first session. That seems like a lot. Um, but yeah, we were not out there for very long. And uh, I, after being out there for an over, I can, I can conclude that there is little to no bounce in this pitch compared to the last match that we played. Uh, yeah, there's, abs there's no life in this pitch at all. There's a bit of swing in the air and it's sort of skidding on. But apart from that, there is nothing in this pitch. There we go. Finally get our first run. We've got plenty of room for two this time around. That's a good shot. And we're going to get four for it. There we go. Shiffle, shiffle. Shuffle onto the back foot. And that'll bring us four with another... Lovely pull shot. I feel like the pull shot has been our strongest shot in this career mode so far. Gets us into double digits as well, which is always nice. 
This is a stacked offside field. There's absolutely nobody out on the leg side apart from the fine leg who actually won't get around to that one. Actually, he just has. There we go. Nice cut shot through the gully slip area. We'll get us two. Shot. That seems to be a short boundary out on that side. We'll make the most of it while we can. So if he pitches another one up, we're definitely going to go for it. We've done it again. We haven't timed it as well. We'll just get the two this time around. In the gap again, it's going to be four more. Gregory just is not learning. He does not want us to hit it into that part of the ground, yet we're doing it anyway. Finally, he's closed up that gap, but when you close up one gap, another one opens. Right there. <laughs> we take two. And they close up that gap. If he bowls it short, I'm going to pull it. And there's no fielders out on that side. He's bowled it wide of off stump, so we'll leave it. But I think... I think it might have been Brian Lara, who... Um, I'm trying to... He, he was either someone talking about Brian Lara, or it was Brian Lara talking about his approach to batting. And it was sort of something like, hit the ball where the fielders aren't, and you won't get out. It was something like that. And it sounds very simple, but... Supremely effective. <laughs> There we go, late cut. That'll be four. Gregory's been expensive in this spell. 3.5 overs, none for 29. Not a lot of footwork in it, but the gap was there and still is there. Although it looks like the gully is a bit, a bit more of a traditional gully position. That has gone straight down the ground for four. Back-to-back -back boundaries to end the over. Yeah. Finally, after I've had an over and a half of just dot balls, we finally get another run. I think it was Gregory that was just bowling outside off stump and they had that sort of packed offside field and we just couldn't get anything away. So we just... Let it go for an over, saw it out, and then Josh Davey did the same for a couple of balls. We finally got off 37. It took us a long time. In the grand scheme of things, it wasn't a long time, but for me, it was a long time. It felt like a long time. And we, uh, do we add another boundary to the collection? No, we don't. We'll take three to end the over. There we go. Finally, some runs through the leg side. We'll get another boundary. It's been... It's felt like a while since we've had a boundary, even though we had that boundary down the ground not too long ago. But it gets us to 46. Yep. Tucked away on the leg side. I don't know if it'll be a boundary. We're going to get three. We're going to be on 49. And... Jack Leach comes on. I haven't faced a lot of spin. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get back in my crease. So I don't get stumped. Because I have been stumped playing a defensive shot and missing in this year's game. Down the ground, that'll be 50. Get the quick single. There we go. That's a nice shot. That should be four. Gets us our first boundary in a little while. Now, at this point in time, I don't actually remember how... Because I know that Steve Smith obviously was playing for Sussex in real life. Um, at this point in time. In game, in real life. Uh, I don't remember how it went. So hopefully, I'm assuming because I didn't hear anything come out of the Australian camp, I assume it went well. Um, 
but I'm going to say that it was fine. We should just wait on the straight one. Anything that is outside off, I'm just going to leave. It was early. A little nick doesn't carry the slip. Have I found my kryptonite? <laughs> I mean, my kryptonite at the moment is me in episode one leaving a ball that went straight and in this episode running myself out. Um, that's a wide. So is, is Jack Leach my kryptonite apart from myself just self-sabotaging my own innings? There we go, there's nobody out there. It's a perfectly safe shot. It's gonna bounce away for four. It's a good shot. Not a lot of footwork again, but just played it on length and found its way to the boundary. Definitely got my eye in. I don't wanna stop recording because I feel like this, this video will end after I either get out or make my hundred. And I feel like I'm definitely more likely to get a hundred than I am to get out. If I get out, I want you to quote me on that in the comments. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, why did I say that? <laughs> No, but I, I feel supremely confident that I'm going to get 100 in this innings. I feel like something is going to have to go drastically wrong. Um, and admittedly, that is quite a nice headspace to be in. There's a gap on the leg side. There's a gap behind me. Not much offering in terms of shots on the offside. They're giving me the one down the ground. That's... We'll leave that. That's the one I want to take. Well, they're also giving me the one down to deep cover. There we go. We'll take that one. There's no one back for the pull shot if he goes short. It's a little bit up-ish, but we'll take the four. Two fours in the over, plus the wide equals nine. Can we get a few more boundaries in this over? And that'll be T. So we've batted through the whole session. We're currently 81 not out, three for two, four, eight. That was a bit of a shorter session, that one. Allsop is chewing up a lot of balls. He's just not scoring an awful lot. He's just holding his end, playing good defensive strokes. Scoring where need be. We pick up three. No, 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 no. That was four. If the stump's not been there, it would have been four. Sids. Welcome back, son. Why are you in Somerset? <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, no. Allsop got out. What happened there? Carter's in. He made his 50. Inching closer and closer to that 100. Only a few runs away. That has not been timed well. That's a risky run. Why am I running that for? Has put us on 87 as well. Unlucky number for Australians. Drinks. Not long to go till the new ball. Why are they playing this field? Why have they got everybody back? They've changed it to a different field, sort of fulfilling the same purpose. We might actually sneak two here. Oh, surely I can't be run out twice in the same video.
I've gotten out playing the same shot twice. I'm well short. Uh, 88. We skip forward. Hopefully we can keep them to a reasonably low score. I think we're in the lead, which is good. We're getting a few runs on the board. Three for 153 is where we will pick up next time. Thank you so much for watching guys up to this point. I hope you have had a lovely time watching my video as frustrating as the ending was for me and as hilarious as it was for you having to now comment. I don't even remember what it was that you were supposed to put in the comments, but enjoy doing that. Um, <laughs> I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.